Hey everyone, Real Martian here. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, the, the microgreen beds that we've put up here. Now previously in our videos uh, I told you that we went through and we actually re-leveled everything. So as far as left right goes uh, and even this way we actually leveled all the lanes and got them back to where they needed to be. Um, but I will say one of the biggest mistakes I made is just the footings on these lanes. Um, it's one of the things that probably in the future we will have to tear stuff down and actually redo some of them and make everything significantly more, um, say robust, but really what we need a, like a level. We just need to make it more level and more easy to adjust the level. Uh, that's the big consideration. Everything right now I feel very, very good about its safety and its ability to stay where it needs to stay, um, but its level is really tough. So let's talk about uh, these trays here that we put in, the tables I should say, and uh, some of the things that we've had to do there. So I tried to zoom in for you, but we have uh, just PVC pipe cut really short. And when it's that short, it's pretty strong. Uh, and it has two connection points here and just went through and leveled this table out as best I could. And it's kind of hard to do it because uh, these metal grates are actually a little wavy. Yeah, I bought them used, so people probably put really heavy things on them, you know, and bent them a little bit. And that creates even more of a challenge. So even if I did have perfectly level uh, lanes, there would still be this kind of fine tuning that needs to be taken into consideration. And I use these small little pieces of PVC here, just cut and then uh, measured into that position to really help level everything out. So I got this bed done, uh, but I still need to get the other three beds done, but they have microgreens in them right now, so I can't, can't go and take everything out and make sure it's all level. Those microgreens are in production, making us money, pay for everything, so they need to just finish their job and I will uh, get to the leveling once they're done. So another thing that I've done is I got our drains in, and this has an overflow as well as just this normal drain. And if you recall, we wanted to make sure that uh, we got as much water out of this as possible so that there was no really place for pathogens and stuff to be uh, to grow and with the sun coming in the evaporation that's occurring plus the drains that we put in that's I think we're successful so what I have here is uh, the drain that comes with the ebb and flow uh, drain kit you can buy them on uh, buy them on Amazon they're actually built by the same company that these tables come from they're called uh, active aqua and what I've done is I drilled a little hole in the bottom in the thread section here so that when I thread it in uh, I have drainage that occurs right at the threads there and then I put some tape around it uh, just because they didn't have one made that's the exact depth I needed but some Gorilla tape along the outside here to get the height that I wanted and then when the microgreen pumps turn on uh, it fills up it will drain through here as it fills uh, and then it'll raise up here and then come over the top as an overflow uh, once everything gets watered. So that's what we got set up right now for the drains on the flood and drain table. All right, last time we were here, I'll give you guys a demo. The demo kind of sucked, so it didn't work right. So now we're gonna try it again, just going cold. I'm gonna open up the control system on the server. Come on, I'm gonna hit enable. Hit commit, and here it comes. Whammo, just turned on. All right, Oop, that's gonna loose. I still have these loose because I'm still working on everything. Okay, now if I hit disable. Whammo, it worked. Okay, so everything is uh, controlled here. What we have, what I just did was a manual override, as I call it, so I can turn it on and off regardless of its timer settings. And then there's also a timer setting, which we currently have disabled as we try to figure out the right, um, well, get everything leveled again so it works correctly, and then get the microgreens and figure out exactly how much water they should have. So we'll be dialing those things in uh, as we go. But as far as automation goes, these beds are now fully operational. Well, this is the uh, homemade germination chamber that I put together. Right? You put some water in the bottom of the table, you put the top over it, you get some nice humidity in there and warm temperatures. We have some heaters underneath and uh, everything germinates. Now, it, it, things are germinating better in here than if we just leave it out in the, uh, the building, so happy about that. But there's some challenges with this. First, you gotta clean this plastic if you really wanna keep everything nice and, and food safe. So 
that's a lot of work this thing's coming out of here um, we also have a standing water issue and the heaters that we have just aren't heating it up uh, evenly throughout there so uh, trays that are close to the heaters are germinating better than trays that are away from the heaters so that's not going to work for us uh, in the end did the math looked at everything and, and said you know what it's just better to get a purpose-made germination chamber I, I just don't have the time right now to build it as you guys seen I've been working quite a bit at my normal job so uh, custom building my own just wasn't in the cards this year so we have one coming it's going to pay for itself very quickly within the first year as far as time savings go uh, so that's ordered it should be here within two weeks we'll get you some uh, some videos of us putting that in and show you how those work but uh, we tried it uh, just quick and easy here not satisfied with the results and so we're gonna get the custom one or the the purpose made one in here and uh, use it. it it should make make a big difference and all the professional folks that are doing this uh, commercially that's what they have so uh, since we're doing it as well might as well follow the crowd on that one if it works use it so uh, that's it for this video. Just wanted to give you an update where we're at with aquaponics. A lot of little things kind of happening here as I can get to it. Uh, nothing major. In fact, I don't think we really have any major projects left except for the digester this year. And just getting plants and everything to grow. So uh, most construction is pretty much done, which is cool. I have noticed, to keep it on the lights, I haven't bought the rest of the lights for all the beds yet. We're kind of experimenting with the LEDs that we have. Um, Right now we have enough light coming down on the plants, but I want to make sure everything's working correctly there before I commit to the rest of all the lighting that we need to get. Uh, so keep you updated on that as we get more results. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is Real Martian, out.